thank all of you for coming to this webinar today. Our objectives for the program for today are that we're going to look at our CDM focus on our protocol review to identify the data requirements for the study. And basically, this is going to drive then our CRF design strategy. We'll also discuss the best practices for CRF design as defined by the Society for Clinical Data Management, Good Clinical Data Management Practices. It has been recognized by good clinical practices in the UK. It has also been recognized by the FDA as the primary description of best practices for the discipline of data management. So I'll be utilizing some of their best practices in this presentation today. We'll look at CDAS standards because that's the, the CRF data collection standard that is now being utilized and being tried out by a lot of uh, pharmaceutical and CRO companies that will facilitate the CDAS standard will facilitate data collection utilizing the CDISC data structure disk is for how the data will be presented to the FDA at the end of the day when they're making submission. And this will also allow us then to customize our case report forms for specific study needs. And finally, we're going to identify the need to ensure that the external data that we receive will be of a compatible nature so that we can do some data integration into our final database. 